Del Barton and St. Augustine met in the Gordon Cup Finals at Cody Arena last night in what turned out to be an epic battle. St. Augustine came out of the gate fast and immediately put pressure on Del Barton. But the momentum shifted when the Hermits went down a man as a result of this hit. Rebounds are rare when playing St. Augustine, but this time they got two shots at it, and Alex Haggerty put it away. St. Augustine was not about to go quietly, either on offense or defense. Joe Panalone, the St. Augustine goalie, stopped shot after shot. In the second period, Del Barton got another power play with similar results. Dan Piravano with a give and go gets it back and puts it in. any panic. We were in this position last year. We were down two to nothing at Del Barton. And uh, the, the main focus was let's just keep playing, get that next goal, cut the lead in half. Late in the second, they got that next goal. No, he was backing up and I was just trying to force him to one side and he just made a mistake and I just took it from him. He saw his glove go down and he just shot right over his glove. Early in the third, St. Augustine got the equalizer. Anthony Sidario makes an amazing pass, and Trevor Gooch has an open net to shoot at. The Barton had 10 shots in overtime, but none could get by the St. Augustine goal. And that's how it ended, with both teams posing for a picture with a cup that neither really owns. They definitely peppered me that overtime, and I, I worked real hard. My, my whole team did. We, did. we had pressure, they had pressure, real back and forth. So, I mean, we battled hard all game. I played pretty well. Uh, two tough goals. You know, I didn't really have to make too many big saves. But that was but again, both goalies at both ends played fantastic, and uh, you got to commend them both. They did a great job. I don't think we played our best hockey, but I, I think uh, you know we had enough opportunities that we uh, should have put more than two away. And uh, their goaltender played great. Like I said, two evenly matched teams, and hopefully we're both fortunate enough to get through our sides of the bracket and uh, meet in a state final.